Dire team ban. Navi's turn to ban. Dire team ban. Navi's turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Oracle. Navi's turn to pick. Lena. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Clockwork! Na'vi's turn to ban. Spectre. Dire team back. Navi's turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Navi's turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. These teams are fighting for the pride of their region. The only two CIS teams left here at ESL1 Germany. One of them will be making the only CIS team in our playoffs. The other, unfortunately, will have to depart us here. We've got Na'Vi taking on Yellow Submarine. Game number one draft just around the corner. In fact, it is so close around the corner, it's hitting us in the face. Lads, back here on the panel, we've got Kyo and I've got da um, Darnog. Darnog. <laughs> Darnog. Darnog. Uh, Battle of the Yellows, but no Yellow Heroes just yet. Is there a Yellow Hero? I mean, Benno's kind of green. No, he's he? green. I'm red-green colorblind, so just ignore me. What about you, Kua? Can you think of a yellow hero? Van King? Yeah, I'll take that. Yep. I mean, it's close, but mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, I'm liking that Spectre pick, I gotta say. Right, like, no, what does a Clockwork do late game pick. against the Spectre? Not, not much. Secret. It's not nothing like Ooh. a Phoenix. Wisely enough, Yellow Submarine choosing to ban that out. Yeah, mm. I think we saw, like, a big success on a uh, Spectre versus Clockwork matchup. Yep. I was a little... I was surprised how they didn't pick up the Mars because usually yeah, they know it, they, it's gonna get better. like it's like one of the best like collapses hero. But Five I guess like if you think remain. about it reasonably, I think picking Spectre was the right choice. Yep. And now it's a blood seeker mm. against Oracle. From just the first phase, looking at that exclusively, I'm favoring Yellow Sub already, yep. just because. Well, they've got three heroes and Navi has two, so yeah. very good. Smart gold star for you. Uh, so bad can play the Lena very well, and so can 
Mio, aka Toronto Tokyo, the new name that he prefers to go by. Uh, so it takes away from Iceberg, which has shown he's able to just dominate these lanes. You've also taken away Iceberg's Doom in the first phase ban and always want to fly on that. Phoenix, he says, look, I don't care about the matchup. I'm picking the Phoenix every single time if I can, because yep. even in a bad situation, it's still good. Yeah, there is like no reason to give always want to fly like uh, his Phoenix, mm. because I think he hasn't actually lost Lane, he always managed to neutralize it out. Yeah. Like with, he's with lost games, room. but he hasn't lost. The yeah, team. but like with Oracle, it's a little different like, story. Oh, mm. this hero doesn't uh, really okay. secure the lane. Okay. Mid Oracle. <laughs> Mid Oracle, we've seen it before from a few of these teams. Nah, will be plenty of games, but that is something we could be seeing a position three clockwork as well here and more. This is a CIS classic coming in with the disruptor here from Yellow Submarine. I'm super excited to see the massive amount of pressure they can put with these heroes. You know, the Bloodseeker can run around really fast. We've seen it time and time again when Collapse plays basically any hero. He's going to win that lane because of it. Unfortunately, he's Sand King, but we'll remaining. pass that one. I, I, they've got good pickoff potential. Any sort Five of team fight, it feels like Yellow Submarine are just going to win the war of attrition and, and slowly take the win. You can even, you know, glimpse back a clockwork that's chasing you, really effective. Uh, yeah, I, I'm liking it. Gives them some extra team fight as well, which can extend into the late game. And I mean, with this early lineup from Yellow, uh, sorry, from Navi, the confused like it, you would have to think that it's going to be Clockwork Three, right? Yeah, or it can be Rubik. Five. Yeah, I think Clockwork 3. <laughs> yeah. There's no other... Maybe Rubik really Mid? Options. Iceberg picking up Rubik Mid? I mean, the biggest thing that... I mean, sure. No, the biggest thing that I'm confused about is that, like, when I see Clockwork, I think just Roger, right? Clockwork mm -hmm. is Roger's hero. 100%. Um, the only other one that I can really think of in the similar mold is Earthshaker, but surely you can't pick an Earthshaker into this sort of draft and lineup. Yeah, you got the Morphling, but I don't know. I'm not quite so strong. Ten yeah, seconds. especially when you're versing against Blossaker, I think his laning phase, I mean, uh, Blossaker seconds. won't die against Morphling. With Oracle at like, yeah, level 3, 5, like, he's yeah. not gonna die, like, so... And if you're gonna be, you know, constantly shifting, going down to 1 HP to get mm -hmm. the full salve, you're gonna get the bonuses on yeah, the Bloodseeker, yeah. which is gonna be really nice as well. So, I mean, oh, it's up already so far, like, it's early on into the day, but... What about some more Iceberg heroes that we're thinking of then, if this isn't going to be like an Iceberg Rubik, something a little bit wacky, because what do Na'Vi need to get rid of right now? They need to get rid of Toronto Tokyo Dara heroes. Well, potentially back. they could be picking up the Linger if it does go into a good matchup for that. Yeah, so. it's, a, it's a two or a four where it feels like it's only the mid laner that's left questionable by a Na'Vi, you know? And it, you're kind of put into this weird spot because you've got the Lina, so you're going to dominate the lane. So what then? Like, what can you possibly get out of that? Uh, yeah, by just showing Navi's this leader, like, it's way too aggressive. He has to pick some like a lane winning like heroes. But Yellow Submarine, they don't have to put Lina mid. Like, nope. they can just pick like, something else for mid, like because they have a last pick. So if for some other heroes, they can go a little more greedy. Mm -hmm. And since it's a Clockwork Ten Three, I think it's remaining. reasonable that they put Lina on like. Most so he doesn't Five just get like hookshot in and yeah, kill. Yeah, because level three, I mean, offlane clockwork tends to move faster. Yeah, and even <laughs> you almost have the last pick overall on top yeah, of all of this. That, that's is... the best thing. Like the four draft looks already solid enough, mm. but then they get the last pick. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised Void Spirit's still Dyer in the pool. It's uh, here that both of these teams like to play. You've also got Batrider still in the pool. It's very much a general hero, but and, and then maybe you put Rubik mid. Good work. Yeah, I'm not feeling strongly about uh, it's any. It's way too passive if you put yeah. Rubik mid here. Like, Wouldn't I you think... be very scared if you had Rubik mid against the Spectre Ten as well? Seconds remaining. Like from from Yellow Submarine or something? I mean, or... if if you're Navi and you put Five Rubik mid, and the remaining. Spectre gets one two items. Like she's yeah, just gonna hold on so, the Rubik. Yeah, like, it time. just really doesn't feel good. Like to mid. I mean, what else is left? There's Tiny. Tiny is a possibility. Invoker Navi maybe. Not banned. Not banned out. Uh, Doom's already banned out. Conker. I feel like hero. It is, but we haven't really seen him perform that well on it. He, yep. he... Answer come out, he didn't seem <laughs> to have a very good time. Yeah, I know you hate it, but... Honestly, Techies. Templar seconds. Assassin nice. or Ember Spirit. Yeah, Ember Spirit was the other one I was thinking. But like, Five his laning's gonna be remain. really hard, and I don't think EU teams are tend to love picking, like, uh, CIS. losing matchups. CIS. Yeah, C CIS. <laughs> like, uh, Dire yeah. team pick. We'll see what he is going to go for. We'll be an Iceberg Ember Spirit. Okay. I, I mean, mean it's, it's something, you know, like you, you can... I'm 
not feeling strongly <laughs> about this at all. I'll be perfectly honest. Well, what does Toronto Tokyo pick up here now then? Is is Alina fine enough matchup for yeah, you, QO? Or do you want something yeah. different? Seconds, like really? Lena's fine, right? Like, I don't think you want to run a four Lena if you've got a clockwork going Five up against seconds, you, right? Really? Because you just need something that's going to be able to create space so you can get a few items early, maybe a four staff or something along those lines. Sure, it's not the greatest on a mid Lena, but you need it for the survivability. They don't have a ton of safe. That's the real weakness on you draft right now versus clockwork cogs uh, lift can be nice obviously oracle fantastic at save so yeah maybe that's something that they're going to want to address here with young sub but yeah like with this lena against ember spray i think lena farm up his big the early that laning ball he gets but or is there something that they can pick that just absolutely crushes this ember spirit and then just gives them even more space? shadow shaman Okay. Jero Shaman always beats Ember Spirit. I mean, and you just push the tower at level six. <laughs> what a beautiful hero. Even Shadow Demon wouldn't be too bad here. Yeah, I could see that. It gives it a little bit of save that you said that they were lacking here, Matt. So, 30 seconds to go here. We'll see what's uh, going to come out of the, the big brain of so bad here. I mean, I, I, the more I think about it, like you, you want easy setups for the blood right, you know, because yeah, right yeah, now yeah. it feels like everything is on the Morphling's <laughs> plate right now. V2 is going to need to carry insane Lena. It's a DP, okay. okay. For Lena, so trusting the positioning of Sobat on the or roll. And it is a pulse three uh, clockwork here for general. Picks that out pretty early on here. So, I mean, nothing to out of the the weird wheelhouse here from either team. I guess maybe the, the three clockwork's a little different, but still plays fairly similar to the four levels and I like that they went for some sort of percentage based damage with the the spirit siphon of course. Um, with the morphling even if you start morphing into strength, you're doing a good amount of damage as well and healing up at the same time. I'm just worried about where all this damage is gonna come from on Navi, right? I feel like Iceberg needs to crush his lane. He's gonna have a better time against the Death Prophet, but still not a good time. And Tune is just going to need to go absolutely bonkers, so I'm going to go for yellow sub. What about you, Kyo? Are you going to stick with your boys? Uh, I didn't like their last pick. I yeah. feel like it's a bit uh, like from yellow submarine. Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like it's a, a little greedy. Yeah. So they have to secure this lane, otherwise I feel like more things. I'm then I'll carry this. So but, you're going to go with them predictions wise? Uh, but I still have to go with yellow submarine. Okay, it looks like QO's love story is still continuing here for Yellow Submarine versus Na'Vi. So we're going to leave with our casters for series number two. So the boys, once again, it's going to be Pixie and Foggo. Prepare for battle. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome Na'Vi versus Yellow Submarine, I'm Odie Pixel here with Fog. Fog, we've just had the drafts, what are you expecting from what you like? Who'd you love? Who'd you have? Um, I love you Owen, great. Um, Thanks. but everything, everything, <laughs> everything looks good today, everything looks, um, Na'Vi's drafts look a little, looks a little weird to me, just uh, these Ember Morphling cores with the Clockwork core too, something we don't see too often. Some limited team fight, some limited tower push, and just kind of just weird all over the place. Yellow submarine. I feel like theirs is a lot more traditional, even though it has some nuances and some strange stuff in it. It's more comfortable. Right? They have their Muposhka on his disruptor. They have good team fight. They have good late game. So I, I do favor yellow submarines just a little bit here. A little that. worried for Mio on the death prop because he has no saves, but yeah, that's right. Really, any any of the heroes going to be building those sort of early sort of boosts in terms of like mechs or, or pipes or anything to keep the death profit protected right at least you at least you don't expect that necessarily from an offlane blood suit no most likely certainly not. could could end up being a little vulnerable as dp but we'll see what mio can do i mean in, in terms of what the we've seen from these begins. teams so far here, esl1 germany i mean what, what's your sort of read of, of both of these squads right now where they are? yellow submarine looks just a bit better overall i feel like navi they they're kind of they're kind of hit or miss still across the board they really rely it feels like on a lot of team fight that's why i'm kind of worried about them this game i see like no team fight whatsoever on their team they have some decent roots and stuns and disables and stuff like that but when i see a team that's already struggling a bit in a tournament and i see them picking like no team fight i'm always really worried in the mid game that they're just they're never going to be able to fight 
I mean, how, how did that sort of happen, do you think, through a drafting process, as you say, where it, when you sort of identify a team that that just hasn't gone for that? I mean, is, is there a reason? You know, are they looking at some of a strength of, or a way of approaching the game that just doesn't require that element as much? Um, I'll be I'll be totally honest. I'm not too sure because yeah. I I think maybe you it's just... also because of like uh, player specialists because like Clockwork Three is something we just don't see, not except for on general. So maybe that kind of thing happens when you're just you know you have a player that just really likes to play certain heroes. But it's not to say that they have actually like literal no team fight. It's just not your not your usuals. They're they're tougher to actually just in the grand scheme of things like a haunt, like a death prophet ult, like a disruptor ult. They can steal these and stuff like that, but for the most part, it's just it's just not there. Like Rubik has to steal them. Yeah. So lanes. Uh, are I mean, with, for them. With, that's the thing with the lane setup. Are you sort of looking at one of these lanes and feeling that this is a pretty strong lane for Navi, where they're gonna have an easy start, maybe kill potential? All their lanes should be pretty decent, to be honest with you. I thought mid would be the harder one for Iceberg, but he looks like he's doing pretty fine. I think they should be pretty okay and in the majority. Like, if Morphling gets to his level 3, he's perfectly fine down bottom. Top, Clockwork shouldn't get pressure too much from Spectre. So, in lanes, you know, Navi should be coming yep. up pretty good. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll have to, have to see what they can do with it. Uh, what sort of moves Generals going to better be making with this Clockwork offlane. Yeah. CS yeah, so far, nobody getting totally zoned out of the lane. Very look. close across the map, everybody and getting a look thanks. in. Yeah, I guess the next like minute and a half or so can still be a little concerning for VTune bottom. Maybe that's the one where it's a little bit more risky for Navi, is this Morphling. Denied. But once he gets three, I feel like yeah. he should be able to farm. But it's Lena Bloodseeker. These two can apply a lot of pressure. They have a double wave too, and he's still only level two. So they could actually just kill him here. Or look yeah. to threaten and kill him here. I guess, yeah, you, you've got to be really careful how. How heavy you go in the IG at this stage? I mean, yeah. Sure, you know, it doesn't matter if you get bought low, because Oracle, he is going to be able to heal you, get you back up to a good state. Uh, you know, throughout the, the burst of the heals and playing with the, the Morphins of Strength. But, yeah, when you're, when you're sort of sitting around in the lane at this sort of HP, a combo and a blood right could send you over the edge. So B-Tune's got, got to be very, very cautious. I always want to fly getting real low too. They only have the one salve. So the harassment might actually, harassment might be too much for V2 to take at some point. But like I said, if he gets three, he should be safe. But this is the lane looking at for Navi to get pressured in. Iceberg's doing very well in this mid matchup. Yeah, I mean, it's... Winning. You would sort of just expect standard Ember versus DP. You are going to have a bit of a, an issue as the Ember because of the, the melee factor. Yep, I feel like you yeah. just you could probably get out harassed a little bit, and just the wave will get forced in on you, especially at like the first two, three levels. But yeah, icebergs already come out perfectly fine, and that, this is the hard part when you're like level three, level two, level four. So very solid for iceberg here. As Mio, he's just getting his bottle out. It's it might not make him time for the rune. Bottom lane, always want to fly. Hits level three, and he's having a nuke down so bad. Purifying flames. Control the fortunes then we'll get the job done. Top lane. Top. General. He's, right. He's trying to go for General. He's gonna get the dagger out, but can't chase any further with the battery salt still up. Iceberg gets a haste top. Mio did not have Ooh. a bubble in time to go check for it. He might be able okay. to do something with it. Actually, but... they're already backing off. Yeah, yeah and then hard. Iceberg's not gonna waste any more time going up there. <laughs> Pretty big to get the first blood in the Morphling lane though. I think that's really important. What's actually uh Always want to fly. Always want to fly. Yeah, yeah, he was only got the last hit at least. So more regen. They'll be able to bring that to that bottom lane for V2. Not a kill that I would expect to happen. Oracle sometimes can have that ha have that though. That big burst that comes at three. Collapse. That's oh. enough. Yeah, he's always real real speedy here. As there's a lot of low heroes on the map. You see Iceberg positioning himself for the opposing bounty rune. We're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of players doing this lately. Mio yeah. is going to walk oh. in. Iceberg actually whips the slight chains. He did. He, he didn't even press the slight button. He just he went it. for the chains. And, yeah. He's going to have to concede that rune despite getting over and trying to contest it. TP back to the mid and Mio's not going to have any trouble getting that bouncy rune bottle done. Slightly awkward there. How <laughs> I many it happens, you know. Sometimes you just press the slight a little out of range yeah. and the slight doesn't go off. You sat there just pressing chains and look a bit of a silly. Okay, here 
uh, we've seen so far. Doesn't matter. He missed the chains, but still, this landing's been great. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna just got chased down here by Mio. Mio hit All the six. right, TPs are coming in, and they're gonna be yeah. soon enough. They're not. I mean, now it might be able to turn if they commit too hard onto him here. Let's see. Oh, they've got the burst. They do. Yeah. The Fade Bolt, they've got him. Uh, but does require the two supports coming in. Mio got the kill. All right, so I think. Are you cool with that as the DP? Sure, you're dead. Your exorcism's been used, but you've got the solo kill on the mid. Absolutely. Yeah. Radiant structure. Like, Roger's gonna be, he's gonna have to trade of who gets happy with everything. Because Roger's real happy, always wanna fly, he's pretty happy. Iceberg's sad. Iceberg's very sad, in fact, so that's the, the biggest thing that you go for there. Sure. He's almost level 7 to level I mean, 5 now of Iceberg. It's gonna be. V Tune's also sad. Disparity. His bottom lane yes. became a bit of a nightmare to stay in. He had to get out of there. We'll see Iceberg come in, dodge the light strike. Wait, he's, five still. Yeah, he's gonna take quite a bit of a punch here. Let's see if they can actually turn on to collapse and so bad. Doesn't look like it. He's gonna have to hang underneath the tower. Bottom is so bad. He's looking to try and line up another light strike already. The blood right. Iceberg will manage to dodge it. Trying to poke. Finally now hits that six. Look at this tower. Oh, it's taking a beat into all this pressure. Iceberg has to be a little careful. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of an awkward position to be in as an Ember down here now. Yeah, I think this is what they just kind of have to do. He has to take the pressure so Vtune can just look to jungle a bit. I mean, it's not what you want to do. You're level four. You, like, sure, you can jungle as a Morphling, but this isn't the place that you want to be. You want to still be able to lane for bottom. This is this is very awkward, and this is something that very really concerns me when I see the way that they've drafted themselves, too, that they don't have any good mid-game. Like, their team fight is just not really there. And Yellow Submarine already claiming a lead with a Spectre lineup, too. It's definitely that's, a big That's concern. always a worry, yeah. Mid lane. They do get the lift up onto Mio. A few tower hits in as well, but these siphons are just allowing Mio to, to hold his position. No problems whatsoever. Yeah, level four Morphling. He's not too afraid of that still just yet. Bottom. Collapse. The trunk for collapse. They've got enough. Even with another... Oh, okay, with the remnants, they sadly do Iceberg. Triple remnants him. Drops them all down, and that will get the job done. Collapse out of the lane. But this is... It's just the fact that they sort of switch around and, and laning setup they've got. It's all three cores right of Yellow Submarine. Even though they're dying, like, yeah, sure, the Bloodseeker dies there. Uh, but they're winning in farm, uh, and nobody's looking at the Spectre. Exactly. Sure, General's still up here, but at this stage, level seven, the Spectre, he doesn't care about a clock. What's a clock going to do to him? Oh, and I'll be real honest. I don't. I'm gonna call this here and say I don't think they kill Yatoro this game. Rune of invisibility. I look at their heroes and I look at heroes that like, Spectre likes to play against. Yeah, Spectre, what I don't think Spectre, Spectre cares playing versus like any of these heroes. I think it's like the dream actually for him. It feels. Trying to make a move down bottom. So bad and collapse uh, already well out of the way. General is trying to find Miposhka in the jungle up here too, but Miposhka just holding onto the glimpse. General tries to commit. He's just gonna get oh, glimpsed yeah, away. You're right. Is that this is also ash. I mean, unless you can close the gap initially, but yeah, right with with, a push, with that glimpse, General knows he can't commit, and then it's mm -hmm. then it sort of feels yeah, it feels awkward for General. You know what? What is he hunting for? I mean, may, maybe he can look over towards the mid lane, but still, Mio, he's got he's got all four siphons ready to use. You get in on him as a clockwork, you're going to need to have some serious backup to actually have a chance of bursting the death block. Yeah, and that's the thing is that he has to either make the move around like mid or bottom because I don't feel like he can ever pressure the Spectre in this game as a clockwork. That's so we don't he, see it. Bottom. Bottom. Have the horse come in. As they're yeah, going to be able to turn. It's on to Iceberg. Short gets the kill on Lino. Trump, the TP out. They got the burst. They do. Iceberg down as well. And uh, it, it does feel that this game continues to maybe step into uh -oh territory for Na'Vi. Yeah, at a very that fast pace help. too. This is a late mail already finished up on the Spectre now too. Mio, he's on his way toward the Yules. Yeah, I'm, I'm really concerned for them to attack. kill the Spectre ever. Clockwork, Ember, Morphling, these heroes, they just they don't pose any threat onto Yotoro ever in the game. I think they can, they can always pose kill threat onto Mio, but Radiance the Spectre wants this. Yotoro, he wants all this to be happening and yeah, this is really mid. tough for Navi. The Poshka gets a free grab on Roger, glimpses him back into the reach of Sobad. Roger, oh, try and run, maybe deny himself the neutrals. No, not going to get a chance. Sobad takes him out. Get a kill for Yellow Submarine. Full Veil finished, going to be going for that. that oh. General? General will find him out the posture this time. Get him. Straight over with the hook shot, the posture. Coming over a little too far onto Na'Vi's half of the map. Kill is found, but still it's, yeah. Na'Vi is 
gonna definitely be feeling the pressure until they're they're able to start killing some of these cores. Yeah, and the thing is too, like I'm gonna keep harping on a lot of this about having no big team fight and having no real ways to hit buildings. Like Morphling is your tower hitter, but Morphling it, in these points in these games, like V2 can't walk up and just hit a building for the next like 10, 20 minutes. These tier ones aren't gonna die. I feel like Yellow Submarine's gonna keep these at like full HP. Actually, they are, they've barely been hit as is. They're gonna be the ones constantly on the aggression. I, do, I just don't see how Navi it's hard. pushes the envelope, makes things really happen, but it's just finding a pick off here or there on a support. I mean, it, it just feels very lackluster. Let's have a look at what are the strengths for Navi? I could, like, you look at the two lineups, Yellow Submarine, they do have like the spec to the DP, right? They've got long cooldown ultimates. Mm -hmm. Is that something that Navi can punish and to sort of work around with their heroes? Under attack. Or, do, or do, uh, do Yellow Submarine not care about fights even when they don't have their ultimates with their I think, heroes? I think with their heroes, they can fight they, even without their ultimates. Yeah. I just feel Navi having this... It, it, it just feels like so many things are missing in their draft. It feels like damage is missing. It feels like team fight is missing. It feels like tower pressure is missing. Uh, it, it just it feels like the game is just going to become... Dyer's get to this point where I, I don't attack. know how they make moves. They're getting good. Like, this is perfect top. They're going to be able to actually get tower pressure because I, I feel like without them being able to just force people on the opposite side, them killing towers is just non-existent. <laughs> on a set for Iceberg bottom. Poshka, six with the static Radiant storm ready. Poshka. Iceberg is going to get remnant set down. And, ooh, wait, where's he going? He's over here. Freeze. And he's out with the TP. And, oh, they've got the vision. They've caught him. Nothing that Iceberg can do to get out of this one. He'll drop out a hopeful remnant, but so bad. Shoots him in the face with the lagoon. Bam! The ember's gone. Mio now has his Yule Scepter finished up too, so your window where you could punish this Death Prophet of being squishy and weak in the front lines, now she should be able to get Yules off in almost every occasion, because you don't have hard stuns, Radiance you have a lift as your hard attack. stun and a, and a hook. Radiance Everything else is just these brutes that Mio can play around with his Yule Scepter. Well, they're going top, Yutoro. Up top, maybe they can get Yutoro. Oh, and he's out with the horn, and he's able to dodge the hook shot. Jumps straight over the wall to the Radiance mid, and that back up towards the top, and he's actually benefited from some of the purifying flames. So now Yutoro, he's good to go, General. He's going to get false promise, tries to get out with the TP, but straight away Mia puts a stop to it with the Yule Scepter. General, he's dead mid for sure. Always want to fly, he's trying to run as Yutoro is chasing down for more. Always want to fly, he's going to pop us out. Yutoro closes Radiance the gap, it's going to be another kill here. For Yellow Submarine, I mean that's what's happening up top. What happened mid fog? They just dove. They just dove the Rubik while taking the tower. They took the tower and just glimpsed him back into position with the Static Storm. A free, easy kill. As V2 just has to jungle, and I, I think this is just going to be the story of the game. I'm pretty sure that there's just nothing Navi can do with I mean, their draft. I, I feel so limited when I just look at it. What is there any sort of magical potential with the morph? Is it, it can V2 turn Bottom into something that, that changes the game? He doesn't have the best actual morphins. Like he's okay yeah. versus Death Prophet because he gets like these siphons, but it's not like he can turn into an Ember Spirit and they have this like six v five where we see a lot of the times, or like a gyrocopter or something. This time he doesn't have these incredible things to morph into, and I don't see V two one v five ing. He's versus ta like actual mm -hmm. counters. He's yeah, he, you know, for sure. What like just Dyer's hard silences for one. I mean, what yeah. three hard silences, right? You got a mm -hmm. storm. Uh, Blood right and the, the silence Dyer's from DP. There's a lot of I, things I, Morph's got to be careful about that, you know, until you get Manta and the BKB, you, these fights are, are going to feel almost impossible for V-Tune to turn up to. Yeah, even playing Spe like playing Morphling versus Spectre, yeah. you've got 30 or whatever armor, but, you know, Desolate just goes through it. It's pure damage. So th there's so many things that I feel like V-Tune just has well, the hardest, they're, they're the hardest time ever. They might find your Sora here. Attack. Okay. The trying with the smoke. I mean, they swept through the jungle, but they didn't quite go get deep enough to, to find Jatoro. As uh, Jatoro shows himself back on the wave, Navi continuing to move now over into their own half of the map and see if they can punish Yellow Submarine for being over here. But leading the charge, Radiant's see if he can get a jump. Mio yeah. just pops the ghost immediately. As soon as he's realizing that something's up, he pops the ghost. Now Navi's got to make a decision. Do they want to try and find the exorcism? They might not even have a choice. General's going to get glimpsed back. Mio, he's just running he's straight just down the supports. He's pushing the supports right away from any cause. Miposhka falling low. Actually able to dodge the hook shot here. General's got to run to collapse him. Miposhka, he's going to live. No, he doesn't. Finally goes down to the slide of face. But Mio's been able to run down the supports, kill off the Rubik. Like 
Light Strike Array will land onto Iceberg. They have lost the two themselves. Mio still continue to try and contain, always want to fly at the back of the fight. He might chase it over. Can they get Mio? Turns with the Yules. Buy it's time for him to get away. So, a bit of a split up fight across the place. Na'Vi able to get a couple of kills themselves. Might, might not be done yet. Is under attack. You know, heads in with the silence. From these two down, no, no, it's a little too deep. They'll back off. Supports got left on an island on both sides there. Mio ditched his supports as on the other side, Iceberg as V2 ditched theirs. Yeah. So both just were taken out there. Mio though, he has a regen now afterwards, so he's full back up and he finds himself a DD. So he should still be able to. And look at this beautiful ancient stack, Yatoro. This is why we've been seeing this blade mail pick up a lot of time on the Spectre too. Allows you to do something like this. Blade mail plus that dispersion. Very nice to kill ancients. Yeah, I mean, it really seems like this is the, the absolute build. I mean, what, what situations would you not get Blade Mail on Spectre first? Or do you think if you're not getting Blade Mail first on Spectre, you're doing it wrong? Bottom. Um, I think if you're getting, like... Actually, I don't know. I, 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 from what I've seen, when, when I've been seeing Yotaro playing the Spectre, I oh. love how he just buys naked Blade Mail. General. Bottom. He's in onto so bad. Stuns out, and that's going to give Sobat the time to step away. They're going to try and chase the slider fist. We'll finish him off. Iceberg able to clean up the kill. Silence out from Mio. We'll run there and try and push them back to successful. But Na'Vi able to poke, and at least they, they are getting kills. It, it does continue to just be sort of these support heroes. But it is it, it is something, and they, and they need to get kills, right? You look at these heroes that Na'Vi have, other than the Morph, these heroes don't hit creeps. You know, this Ember, this Clockwork, they, they, they farm heroes, not not jungle camps. Yeah, Iceberg, I feel like this trio, even maybe even the four of them, have to yeah. just run around at all times in this game. They cannot stop. They have to just, V-Tune, you are literally the creep hitter. Maybe a Rubik comes and fade bolts a wave now and then, and a rocket flies and clears out a creep wave every now and then, but you four, you have to just hunt. Get your spirit vessel online on the Ember Spirit, which and he they're has. trying to get on the Spectre, and they can get into it. The lift up, he's getting heavily burst. Can they finish it? They, they can. can. He's going to get a horn off. The he is dead. Na'Vi with the big kill. But she's going to get them all out of that iceberg. It's going to be trapped in the static shot of the kinetic field. The Yule Seven counts from TP out. False promise buying him a little bit of time, but a lot of damage is going to be coming through off the back of him. It's too much. I spoke will get pop the V-Tune. He's able to clean up one. He's going to try and turn over towards Mio. V-Tune popping the Mantis. Still looking towards the DP, but the Siphon's keeping Mio alive. Now in the back, collapse, swinging through. Looking to always want to fly, always want to fly. Very low right now. Ever save himself. More tunes end, but Mio has the physical. Comes in with the DD, punches him down. Over towards Vichu, they look general. Hook shots in, does get the catch on to collapse. They're taking down another. But Mio, he's looking for Roger. The heals from the spirits, bringing him back up to full HP. Your Scepter to hold back General's clock. Mio will get out. Huge fight for Vtune though. He actually holds his ground during the entirety of it, turning into the Death Prophet. Like we said, he has the Spirit Siphons, his best target. Dyer's Gets some decent ones out and picks himself attack. up some much needed kills. And they, they, and they get you Toro at the beginning of it all. That's the big one. I didn't one. think they would. Yeah, I didn't think they'd be able to much, if not at all in this game, but they find him isolated and burst him. A very big kill to be found. Well, it should be uh, a little more difficult once your Toro has the, the man to complete in that. Delph is very close. Ultimate orb done. Yeah. Actually, I'll go for recipe first. You know, he's, he's just about to pick up both of it. Just a few hundred gold, and he's going to have the man. So then those moves from Navi are going to be a lot more difficult to, to orchestrate. Much yeah. more reliance on just getting in with a hard stun first, whether it be the, the lift or the hook shot, but nonetheless, the limitations. Yeah, we saw like the V-Tune's V -tune had the Manta for that last fight. That's what allowed him to yeah. actually show up. Otherwise, he would have been chain silenced and probably brought down like the fight really really well and that's what i think that's what navi's gonna have to hope for is his v tune really putting the team on his back this game because clockwork as just as a three position you do start to fall off a little bit you're at least thankful that you're playing versus something like death prophet so blade mail is always going to be good this game for general but you will start to fall off i mean he's, he's, it's already seems like roger's becoming the three <laughs> i mean look at him roger's level 12 general's level yeah. 10 and they've got the same farm. Ooh, Yotoro. Oh, got the Manta yeah, this time. He can get away with these sort of plays. That DD, continue to farm. Beaching, doing a, a stellar job of, of keeping up. Standing there at the top of the network. Can he do it? Can v pull out what seems to be rather difficult, despite just being down 2k? 
still just struggles from from the lineup of Navi when it comes to what they're actually able to do with this power. Try for your top. Yeah. Chop coming okay. in. Tough kill though. Yeah, that's Radiant a that's about as much as they can do. Having a back Radiant away at the same time down bottom. Losing it tier two. TPs are gonna come in. Navi wanna try and hold this. Or gonna fly. fly. He's gonna get instantly silenced. Well, they've got him. They see him straight up now. Iceberg reveals himself in the tree line. He's gonna have to get around and now jumps to the side. He is away. Has to use Radiant's all of them. Tower is under to get right back there. Yes. I can't believe the Oracle TPs to that tower. That was crazy. <laughs> They're surrounding it. He TPs like in the, not even in the bottom tree line. He TPs in the upper tree line where usually there's a ward there. Radiance bottom Very tower ambitious TP fallen. coming out from Always Wanna Fly. No struggles for, for Yellow Submarine to take that tower over towards the mid. It's alright. And about chasing down Roger, but Roger. Got the stolen dagger and also four staff, so able to Radiance break himself away. b -tune also showing the mid yourself cool by the side of iceberg all things considered navi in a much better position than i, I thought they would be at this 21 sure, minute well, you, you, I thought you, they'd you could be imagine it going more downhill down. yeah yeah no, that, they have to keep this up though yeah well, that, the spectre is it, still yeah. getting big same thing with mio b Kiki is online now for the death prophet let's see what they give with the smoke Bloodseeker would be okay. Mio would be amazing. Yatoro, he, he's, he's the top prize here. Narvi. Can they find him? Radiant are scanning. A little hard to get into this. Mio break it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's going to straight away with the silence. Oracle is going to get split off to the side. He will live, though. Always want to fly. Still alive for this. Able to false promise himself. Glimpse the static top of the timings there. Nice, nice first. Very nice jump out with the Remnant. Gets him out to the side. Has still been ruptured. They're holding them back with the chains. Roger also able to run away from them. So after uh, all of it, nobody actually going down there. And that was the use of, of the horn coming out from Yatoro. So uh, a very nice disengage from Na'Vi. Meaning that nobody yeah. has lost that. A bit of an awkward one from Yellow Submarine, really, as Yatoro. He could have just jumped onto Always Wanna Fly. He could have committed for the Oracle, yeah. He was jumping on the back line trying to get more type of kills. And they end up missing big because of it. That fight looked pretty awkward as Navi was able to reset. But Yellow Submarine, they back up, they go back to their farming as Haunt is on cooldown. Didn't have exorcism either for that fight, so... No. Not the worst thing we lost is now. Like we said, exorcism is available. They're actually going to look to smoke out here. They don't have Static Storm either for 35, though. Yeah, no, so no Static, no Haunt for, for a long time, so... We'll be a kill around the Blood Seeker and his Rupture. They see Roger. Walking into the triangle, though, still a bit too scary. Even though all of them are in the area. The is trying to get a ward down. He's got it. They see General now farming. They're going to go on him. What a step back pretty far. Whoa, the Oh, the rope damage there. Oh. Oh, General's dead. I like that. Not dead. what you expected yeah. right after, though. He <laughs> Blade mails ripped him apart. <laughs> oh, that was great. I mean, that was good. Any, any time someone that gets ruptured has a that sort of movement ability in a blade mail. You know, you yeah. know the blood seekers in for a wild ride. This could be big here for Navi. They're sitting into this Roche and there's no haunt. Yatoro is almost about to end too. This sexism, yeah, it's not gonna quite finish it. Navi get into the steal. Yatoro is so long they're gonna jump forward for Yatoro to be able to pick it up. The static storm's down, Iceboat jumps into a trap. As the ember will fall. Uh, we have that with Mio being focused. Mio's in trouble. He's able to put the BKB. Can he keep himself alive with the side? He can't. He's not dead yet. Is he actually alive? He's still alive. He's over to the pit. Vichu's trying to find him, but he can't quite finish the job. Mio's going to live through it all. Vichu's going to fall. Oh, Na'Vi. I mean, they, say, they came so close there to really getting this game up the control, getting a lead. They were just not able to do so in time, committing into the pit. Yatoro on very low HP, still able to finish off the Roche and get the ages. I mean, that, that was so close to going the way of Na'Vi, but it, it just wasn't meant to be. It really wasn't. They didn't get the vision inside. I, they looked like they may have even just been able to fully commit and just kill them yeah. and just get everything, but... Everything goes wrong for them. Mio lives with this on oh, the skin of his teeth. 
for the tweet. Just the spirit siphon's really adding up. I believe what spirit siphon on the strength HP morphing, right? So that extra strength that he gets, you get that extra heal back too. Look at this again. How low he got. Oh, he is ridiculous. So, well, like a, no, so close to sure. finding him. Yeah. I mean, sure, at that point, the fight already kind of felt bad for Na'Vi because they didn't manage to get that Aegis steal. And if they had killed Mio, the rest of the team very likely is still clean up, but they're definitely extra, yep. extra salt in the wound that they couldn't get that Death Prophet kill uh, on the way down there. Absolutely, and that was without Haunt up, and now, you know, Haunt is going to be up for the next fight, and it's... It's, we're still really feeling that that fall yeah. off there. It's Vtune. He's still farming really well. He's doing a he great is. job, but we're seeing the rest of the lineup. The General Clockwork, the Ember Spirit as well. These heroes just falling off with what they're up against. Yeah, and it, it's sort of crazy. I mean, Iceberg on his Ember, he was off to such a good start in the lane. Why, why, why do you think it has been that his game slowed down as much as it has? Is it, is it just the nature of the heroes that he's trying to make moves on? Are they not, not easy heroes to punish early as an Ember? Because he had it's a good a start in lane. It's a hard game for the Ember. Like you said, triple silences. And he has to worry about these Yules and these these stuns and everything. The glimpse versus the disruptor, the static storm. It's, it's yep. so much he has to play against, really. Me up. Gonna start with a catch on to the Oracle. Always want to fly, tries to time the urge to remove the silence, but there's too much here. This yellow submarine will remove his existence. Yeah, it just feels tough too. Because with uh, the thing about the Emperor too is, usually if you have like a, someone you can pair with and set up for these constant kills, like with your off laner, then you Radiant's can see this Ember get the ball rolling, get these, yeah. get his items built up. But with so, that's why I don't really like the three position clockwork. I feel like you're so limited. You do the same Radiant's as a four or five as you do from a three. Time. You just have like a Radiant's blade mail. You know, you're able to just be a little bit attack. tankier. It feels like as these core clockworks in comparison. Radiant's top tower. And further falling fall. behind. Just Vtune being that farmed core with a full eye Scotty and the Meta. So very strong. Especially versus the Death Prophet if he can stick on her. But the rest of his lineup just melts. Navi, the base, but Boom, there this ward goes. seeing it all. Ella Submarine know their exact position. And uh, in fact, they're Radiant's themselves, look at this, with that, that, that information, they're, they're going to try and catch them from behind it, knowing that I mean, they see always out. fly. Yeah, the, the, and Roger, you this, see the two supports. This war is doing the entire job for the instant silence. And now, here we go with the Hawk. Mio chasing down, always want to fly this time, making sure they finish off the Oracle first. Roger glimpses back to his death. Three heroes dead. That reserve award is just attack. revealing everything and allowing Yellow Submarine to make a very easy jump onto Na'Vi outside of the base. <laughs> We have to watch now. And they should Radiant's be a little careful as Hulk is going to gonna look for some glimpse plays here. He's going to find it. He's able to grab back V2. V2 trying to step out. Silence is in play. Radiant's have they got enough damage? Then he's shifting up in strength. And he might just make it. V2, is he away? He is. He's out to the side. V2 gets to live another day. Mio has to put the BKB Radiant's a little spook to that he, the Navi's going to be able to catch it. Iceberg stepping in. So has to be cautious. He'll set up. Bloodbright will be dodged by the Remnant. I mean, if they lost the morph there, that could have been it. But Vtune, she able to crawl back to his base. Tries to Manta dodge, but Glimpse now much harder to dodge. Radiant and they're smoking out. Okay, they're looking to try to take advantage of these ultis being Dying. on cooldown. Our They've scanning. got the Clockwork with the Aghanim Scepter, so they've got the double shots. Yellow Submarine, no. They know, yeah. again, they're just reading every single one of Na'Vi's moves. And all of them walking over, claiming the high ground, collapses here. Roger just cut through, though, with the spider legs. Gonna try and go in on Collapse, but as soon as General's in, the posture glimpses him back, so Collapse. Is he, I mean, is he still under threat? They try with a lift up, but he falls out to the side, and the posture with these little sort of saves, making it very hard for Na'Vi to, to get any catch with this. Oh, look to, to finish off the tier one tower. And oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. oh, no, he didn't have it yet. Okay. He's still missing the point boost. But the three piece. But is... I mean, even so, that's two minutes and 40 seconds that he can't get his axe on Ember because so bad sniped the courier. Oh, that hurts. That's... He's still short 600, so, you know. I mean, sure, but he's, he's getting that yeah. 600 gold in the two minutes easy. Over in the river, they kill off Roger.
Oh no, not the Aghanim. Oh, that, always, that always hurts. When the Curry gets sniped and it's going to have your Aghanim's pretty much on it. He was waiting for it for quite a yeah. long time too. Blitz, general. I don't think the rest of Navi is going to be interested in helping this man. No, they're out of there. They're not turning back. General goes down 24 to 12. 12k lead now for Yellow Submarine. One starting to, to look increasingly tough for Navi. And uh, the, their hopes of, of maybe hoping that VTune was out, would be able to pull this one together is it's, it's starting to fade. It seems that there's just far too much for VTune to play around. To, to really get the job done. Maybe when he has the BKB completely, he really does have the money for But even then, the, the, the cause of, of Yellow Submarine across Radiant's the border is just so much further ahead. He's just alone. He's on an island. It's just V Tune, really, at this point. Unless, like, Roger can steal an exorcism, but even then, Radiant's the exorcism will kill him on the blade mills and on the dispersions. It feels. Yeah, it just feels impossible. And I, you know, Yotaro yeah. did die the once though this game. You know, I was he did die the I, once. Did, I, did, I didn't think that he would die yeah. in this game or see what he was against, but so, he did die the once. So Navi man, they managed to prove you wrong. That's what they set out to do. He died the once. Now, 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 now you know, you can, you can double down for it. Now, is, is he going to die again? Or is he only going to die the once? They're going for him. Uh, I don't know. Him. I mean, okay, maybe if they, pull, if they pull five commit, I think he lives though. Yeah. I think you I'll think he... I think he'll get it off. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Radiance top so tanky. I don't. Attack. I don't think they have the damage of all five. Right? <laughs> yeah, they're getting split up actually because Ice Bone had to turn towards the okay. rest of Yellow Submarine. They're swinging over it. The heart's gonna come out in a second to scat them. Oh, yeah, it'll probably be in Navi's best interest to just bail out of this. And they are straight away. They're all getting out. Iceberg also able to make it out. Oh my God. Always want to fly is insane. He just ran to the creeper, the nuked the range creeper, the TP in front of the specter. <laughs> I mean, he'll get away and he'll get that range creep, but back to the base they go. The lead continues to grow. Be their the best bet now. Probably waiting for the, for the high ground defense. Stepping out on this map against the Spectre and her, her haunt just seems to be a little too risky to do now with the deficit that they're playing at. Yeah, you know, somebody's just playing it safe. They're waiting for Rush to spawn, just camping on high ground. Just, they're just suffocating Navi. Don't give him any chance back in the game. But collapsing so bad in the front lines here that you don't care about losing. There we go. Not so bad. He's going to get first. And the sun is down. Beechin is able to put the BKB turns over towards Yatori. Yatori coming in with the horse, focusing down General first. They don't always want to fly. Always want to fly. Will come in with the buyback. Beechin being chased. He's able to wait for him at the top of the BKB ends. And Maposhka, as soon as the BKB ends, he's ready with the glimpse. Brings Beechin right back into the reach of the rest of Yellow Submarine. Marine and featuring he's down and out for 70 when pulling on that BKB purchase as the Poshka he, he was ready to, to play around that any day of the week. I mean, he had to go for the BKB, but Radiant at this point it's just fortified. it's way too many items. The Shiva's done, Die of Scotty's Radiant's been done for quite some time. This Morphling can't even he can't even attribute shift. He's just getting decimated by the heal reduction and Yeah, the Austin Marine just way too big, not even needing the rush. Zombie tried to get aggressive and punished. 45 seconds, no more, but no way to fight. Oh, they have to watch. I'll never get it. Oh, 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 Yellow Submarine ready to fight Navi up here on the high ground, forcing them back to the fountain. A glimpse onto General puts him back in a position. The hazardness is he is dead. They're holding on Navi. What can they do? They have got a repair kit. The repair kit's really doing work. No, I should collapse. He's sticking out of the trees there. They're not gonna find him though. Maybe find Poshka. Static Storm instantly down. Buying time here for Mio to swing over. Iceberg can't chase any further now for the Disruptor. Unless he finds the chains, but won't quite get the Radiant connection. Bottom tower is under How many attack. remnants has he got left? Actually, none. He used all of the remnants for initial chase. So, Yellow Submarine are fine, and now Navi's got to start running back to base. Well, Roger's got to be running as he's bleeded to death. It goes with the TP away. He'll make it to the glimpse. On to Iceberg, great. straight into the stun. They've caught the Esper. Iceberg's gone. Dead for a minute. No buyback on him. 
I mean, the, the game will continue, but I think mean, much to the pain of Na'Vi and the pleasure of Yellow Submarine. Yeah, I'm enjoying watching with Pasha get all these nice glimpses. Right? Right, it's some, some very nice disruptor play, yeah. As usual, oh. too. They're yep. so... They're coming, I, think, I think there might be a time where we see this hero like, start to rise up again. Like, certain teams just really, really like to play it. Yellow Submarine is displaying how good it is, especially when they play with this type of draft with uh, so much vision. Oh. With the Spectre and the Bloodseeker as we go. Can they get the steam? What can he do? Always oh, going in. Oh, General's in as well. Roshan isn't quite low enough though for General to finish. The horse going to come out. Gucci taking down Soma. Soma will fall. But the Roche Yellow Submarine, they get the kill. They get the Aegis. And now they'll get the life of General. The General's been false promise. The Yatora on top of him. And be soon. Chased. And he's got to be careful here. The rupture's out for collapse. Running down Roger, running down Vichy. And Vichy's out with the TP on the high ground. Will make it back to base. Roger's trying his best to escape them all. With the spider legs, but they'll find him. Again, this attempt around the pit. They, they come very close to doing something with the timing. As the hook shot, just a little too early. Roshan's still a little too high on the HP. And it gives Yellow Submarine a chance to formulate a fight. And get that he just picked up on Yatora. They're still trying to do the, get the fights going off, but Iceberg just triple remnants into Yatoro. I mean, he's so low! They do get him the once. Aegis is gone, but now Iceberg is committed. He's going to go for the GP. Now he's not making it away. Your set from me up puts it to a stop. Iceberg dead yet again. Over to beat you and they go. Always want to fly. Also being forced to side. The silence kicks in. The Oracle will die. v has he Maybe got anything to save himself? He's got Wimp from up if he can get it off, but he cannot. The game is already coming to an end as GG is called by Narvi. Yellow Submarine take this game one. And I um, mean, what, what would you say, Foggy? This was sort of Narvi. It's not really giving themselves the best chance uh, off the start of this with regards to their draft. Yeah, I feel like they put themselves.